We are back. Puzzle solved. We are on the next part of Japan. The Plagoda. That seems more like a pun on Play-Doh than it does clay. Why couldn't it have been the clay Doda? Clay Doga. You know what? Screw it. I don't even care. Oh! Invincible! Go, 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 go! Oh god, fuck these guys. We have our we have our duck again. Who I don't think I ever named, so we're gonna go ahead and go with Duck Bird. Oh my god! Nope! Um Oh god, do I really have to deal with this? Oh god, that's just like the detail on the ass crack or on the butt cheek is just I like how he pecks the ground though. <laughs> Alright, let's let's take this guy out. This duck is just all sorts of awesome. Like look at his scarf and everything. I wish he could like hover or fly though. It seems weird that he doesn't have any special abilities. Ah. Uh yeah. So this is episode Oh, he can fly. What did I do? How did I do that? Uh this is episode 6, meaning this is now officially longer than my Mega Man X my first Mega Man X let's play. Oh, if I run okay. It's it's Mario flight rules. Okay, that makes sense. Uh this is now this is now longer than my Mega Man X let's play. And we're only on World 3, so either this is just a very short game, or we're going to be spending a lot of time together in Claymates. Uh, okay, that's... Ooh, I wonder if I can fly up there. That would be very nice. Oh, that was a terrible trap. Oh, oh no! No! Everything about that was wrong! <laughs> Let's get through this. Oh god. Nope. Nope! <laughs> get the fuck away from me! Okay, is that the thing I just fell through? Why am I not? What in the fuck? I was literally sitting there, like, spamming Y, and the little fucker wouldn't punch. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, watch out for that. I think the sword, yeah, the sword is actually helping me there. So I should try to get these guys under swords as much as I can. That would be good. Or maybe, yep, okay. And we've got our invulnerability clay thing. Nope, not dealing with it. Jump up. Nope, not dealing with it. Alright. Send him on his way. I thought there were more squirrels. There's one of them up there. He must have fallen over last time. I'm just gonna... There we go. I guess I'm supposed to go down here. <gasps> Boston! Whoa, no! wonder if I'm supposed to go this way. Wow! The good that I am at this game has reached incredible amounts. Sai. Alright, let's make him... See, this is where I was before. All right, we got a cat. This is this is probably my favorite character of them. Oh, he can't climb. He just as far as actually being able to control them is concerned. I just seem to ah, the mouse is too fast. The and awkward. I don't know. The duck. The duck didn't seem that bad. Ah. Uh... I may have to maintain that Duckbird's my favorite character. I mean, he has an awesome scarf. You saw it. I'm gonna jump through. We're gonna brofist a squirrel. If it was more, I guess. I was about to say if it was more of these guys, I could handle it. But it's starting to send me a little too many of them. Why are there so many squirrels here? Getting out of there. <laughs> oh fuck, I can't go through the I can go through the purple ones, not the red ones. God, this this place is just so dangerous. Who Okay, who like builds these places like this? Like, 
I know I guess they're technically bad guys, but how do they fucking get to work in the morning? Like if like if you think about it, like you get, like what if you get there like accidentally like 30 minutes late and they've turned all the traps on already and you are just fucked and you cannot get to your workstation because there's goddamn fire throwing buddhas on everywhere. Like this must be the worst company to work for. I see the exit up there. We're so close. Oh no. I wanted to use that sword to kill him, but it fell too early. And we got teapots. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's a bad idea to touch those. Just gonna use the uh, general rule of everything kills me and use that as a reason to avoid these guys. No! How did he know my tactics? Don't worry, guys. We're almost through this. We saw the end. It is nither. Oh, we're all the way back here. This is terrible. This game is just getting meaner and meaner. I don't know what I'm going to do if there's another world, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through it with my sanity. You go away. We're not dealing with you today. <laughs> you know, I'm very surprised that I'm actually making it through these spiky things. This is typically something that I blow and mess up on rather easily. So I'm rather proud of myself. Get in there. Getting the fuck out of there. Fuck you, Buddha fire thrower. It's sad that it's a mean Buddha, because there were so there were so many happy Buddhas earlier in the stages. I wonder what caused him to go to turn. Okay, hopefully that was the one that killed me last time. And I won't have to deal with him anymore. Nope, there he is. There we go. Hopefully no more sword bearing samurais will jump out at me. Oh, we have a good job, Balloon. This just looks terrible. Oh, this is actually not that bad. This is a typical timing thing. Get away! Alright, we've reached the end of the level. Which means, man, there's still more stages in this place. We've done about three already, haven't we? I think there's... maybe there's been four stages per world. Maybe I'm just counting wrong. It's something I've typically been known to do. But the important thing is we are done with that with that stage. And we are in another effing robot puzzle. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be a... Uh, how far down do I want to knock him? That's not what I wanted to do. I think I want him to hit that tree there. Because he'll walk back up and... Nope, that just <laughs> is not what I wanted him to do. Let's punch him back. See what that does for me. That just makes another circle. That just sends him backwards. Uh, nope. Did I try that one already? I think that's what made the circle to begin with. So let's punch him back and try all the way to the left. Oh yeah, that's probably what I want right there. Look at me go. So now I need him to go... all the way... Oh, you know what? I may have just done it. Nope. I didn't. I got him back in a circle. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I already tried this one, and that just sends him around. What happens if I... that just bounces him back and forth. So let's go up here. See what that does for you. That gets you in the circle. We've established that well enough already. Let's see what all the way over gets does for you. I think it gets you in this circle, doesn't it? Nope, oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Yes, now he's in another circle. Hmm. This is a bit of a predicament. 
Oh, that will knock him back over there. And he'll... I think I know what I want to do. Let's leave it there. Come on. And once he gets around, we'll push that over. And he'll do the bouncy thingy. And go up there, and... Oh, that just brings him back to where he was. I've made another loop, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him go. You just hang out in that circle for a little bit. You know, I seem to remember this being a particularly tough one when I was little. I'm getting I'm getting random childhood flashbacks of my friend and I just like not knowing what to do with the four tree puzzle. <sighs> this seems to be something close to an answer here. always knocks him right in there. There's really only a certain number of combinations that could happen here. Oh, I can turn him around? Did not know that. Did I do it? Okay. I will take that. Getting the fuck out of here. Oh, this one. This one's gonna be wonderful. This next one. The cl oh, there's the clay goda. Okay, there was two pagoda references. I get it. It's downright clever, claymates. You done well. Let's get him out of here. Hidden gems. I would like to go to there. I saw- oh god, the sumo. Oh god, he knows I'm here. This is gonna be terrible. That's done. I would like to go explore in here first. That's a dead end, so we're gonna go back to the... Bring me to another place -a -tron. That's the beginning of the level. That's no good. So, this is a maze. Good. I love maze worlds. Everyone loves maze worlds. They're so fun and not time-consuming. I will follow the gems, and hopefully they will lead me to good fortune, as most gems are supposed to. Okay, we got Boston, guys. He's so fast. Oh, this is terrible. I was here already or the last time I went through. The first time I went through the maze. This is where I ended up. So I wonder if there's another way through here, because that thing brought me back to the beginning. That didn't do it. This might be just a dead end. So let's try again! I am not above just flat out skipping through this part again. Because <laughs> I can't imagine this is very entertaining to watch. Someone just being lost in a maze level. It's like being stuck in a maze yourself. Like, honestly, who really wants to do that? Well, that's not what we wanted. I think I wanted to go up. Yes, I did. Nope, that's not the one. Come on, go up. And this leads us to what I have determined is a dead end already. He's gone now, though. He's out of our way. Damn it. So let's do this again. We'll go in, we'll go up and over. Where did this one take me again? I need to double check. Oh, this is the one that I have to... Okay, so that's a dead end. That is no bueno. We will not find results there. 
so we'll continue this way. Where the gem path was. Hey, have I gone downwards yet? That brought me over here. We've been here before, but maybe there's some options we haven't explored. You always gotta keep your options open when you're a ball of clay trying to seek out your father. No, that's not what I was trying to do! I don't understand why I have so much trouble jumping with this mouse. Like, I, I, I guess I think he's gonna go further than, I, than, I, than he does or something. I don't... I really don't get it. This is the dead end one, isn't it? Yep. Alright, we are running short on time here, so I'm probably gonna find my first pity balloon and then mark that as the end of the episode. I went downward, yes, and that brought me here. And I need to get over that jump this time without being bad. Alright, I think we made it out of the maze. Which I... Yep, and here is our first pity balloon, and we got a duck coming for us when I get back, which is a promising thought. So, I will see you guys next time when we finish the Claydoga.